Today we'll be taking a look at the M16A4. This is, as far as I know, the final version or the final full length 20 inch barreled M16 to be in US military service. These rifles are just a modernized upgrade of the A2 that you saw introduced in the late 1990s. The one true difference between the A2 and the A4 is the upper receiver that has a mill standard 1913 rail milled into it or a flat top upper. Another thing you see on A4s is the addition of the M5 rail system as designed by Knight's Armament and also made by P&S Products. They were the same companies, same contractors that manufactured the M4 rails, which you see on M4 carbines. The rifle is pretty much, aside from the upper receiver, the same with an M16A2. It has the exact same lower receiver with the exact same burst fire mechanism. It is the exact same profile of barrel. It is the same muzzle device. It has the same front sight, front sight base, except the front sight base on the A4 on flat top rifles is raised just a tiny bit so that the sights adjust the same way and you have the same zeros on an A2. One thing that I mentioned in the A2 video is that the M16A3. The M16A3 was only used by the US Navy. You saw them, for what I know, mostly in use by the Naval Construction Battalion, the CBs. And they could be either A2 or a A4 pattern rifles. The only difference was that those were full auto guns without a burst fire disconnector in it. A little bit of history on the M16A4. They were adopted in 1996, first with the US Army, which was a little bit surprising when I first read because I pretty much only ever see these in use with Marines. And from that, the Marine Corps adopted it in 1998. You see Marines with these a lot in the early days of the global war on terror. You look at pictures of Marines in Fallujah, this is their rifle. Um, and they were going through and they were clearing houses with these rifles and they were making a 20 inch barreled rifle do the work of what the Army was doing with a 14.5 and they were doing it quite well. The Marine Corps really wanted to stick with these as recently as 2010 though. However, by 2011, 2012, you started to see the Marine Corps increase the number of M4 carvings that they had in inventory. This rifle was originally, these rifles were originally produced by Colt. However, like with the A2 and like you'll see with the M4, later shifted over to FN primarily doing the manufacturing of the rifles and delivering most of them. And this one is an M4 upper receiver made into an M4 barrel. I bought this as a complete upper assembly um, a surplus and threw it on a clone M16A4 lower with a clone UID tag. I have the sling, which definitely was used by a Marine. I bought it with a bunch of other modern Marine Corps stuff. And the buttstock pouch you see a lot on A4s. But that's my early global war on terror M16A4 and a brief history of the M16A4 rifle, which is really just the modernized version of the M16A2 to accept modern optics.